Hello, my fellow Oregonians. Secretary of State Shamia Fagan here. This is JJ Bubbitts Fagan. We're toying with calling him the Secretarier of State, although he's not a terrier, but it just feels like a really cool name. So we, I mostly, because he's going to jump off soon and get the treat that just dropped on the ground for him. Um, I just want to talk to you. You probably have heard the legislative session is over. They have adjourned sine die. Uh, which just means no tomorrow, meaning they're not coming back the next day or the next day that they are done with this legislative session. And um, I just want to highlight a few of the bills that our office is very proud of and really um, happy that the legislature passed to really expand access and equitable access to our democracy. So just want to give you a quick update. There's a lot of good bills. The legislature did a lot of great work, um, and I want to commend them for that. A lot of great bipartisan work, but I want to highlight four bills um, that are really excited about and just want to let you know that they're going to soon become law here in Oregon. Number one is House Bill 3291. My former colleague and friend, Representative Dan Rayfield, championed House Bill 3291 to allow ballots postmarked on Election Day to be accepted up to seven days later, rather than having to be in by 8 p.m. on Election Day. You probably remember around Oregon that last weekend before Election Day, there's a lot of confusing reports about when is the last day you know, to be able to mail a ballot. Put simply, this bill puts in place a simple, nonpartisan concept. Here it is. You ready? When a voter casts their ballot on Election Day, it should be counted. Simple, nonpartisan. When a voter casts their ballot on Election Day, it should be counted. One of my main priorities as your Secretary of State is to increase accessibility and equity and decrease barriers for Oregonians to be civically engaged and to exercise your right to vote. So thank you, Representative Rayfield, for House Bill 3291. The second bill that I want to highlight is House Bill 2323, championed by Representative Julie Fahey simply makes it illegal to knowingly communicate false or misleading information about elections to Oregon voters. The spread of misinformation and disinformation about elections is really one of the biggest threats to our democracy today. When voters are empowered to make informed decisions with their ballots, with your ballots, then you elect leaders who will be responsive to your needs and best represent your communities. This bill from Rep Fahey will help curb the spread of disinformation leading up to elections, ensuring that you have access to accurate information, the accurate information that you need to cast your ballot here in Oregon. The third bill that I want to highlight is from Representative Con Pham. She was the legislative champion for House Bill 3021, which requires the Oregon Secretary of State's office, requires us, and we are happy to be required to do this, to make some election materials available in the five most used languages in the state other than English, and to allow candidates to submit voter pamphlet information and voter pamphlet statements in those top five languages. Look, thanks to Rep. Pham for her incredible work on this, equitable access to our elections is one of my biggest priorities as your Secretary of State. This bill encourages voter participation and is a great step forward in making Oregon voting more accessible for all. And I'm really glad that this bill is headed to the governor's desk. And last, and certainly not least, my predecessor, former Secretary of State Bev Carno. Before I was sworn in, she introduced Senate Bill 27, which was in collaboration with Oregon's 36 independently elected nonpartisan clerks. And this legislation gives those clerks and elections officials here in Oregon more flexibility to process ballots as they come in. This allows them to get their work done securely and more efficiently in reporting election results all in all 36 counties. Look, Oregon's county clerks and our elections division of the Secretary of State's office do the incredibly hard work of making elections here in Oregon safe and fair and efficient and equitable and accurate. And I was so glad to just play a role in helping them get this flexibility. So as you can tell, this was a very busy legislative session for democracy. I'm very happy to see and really grateful to our legislators who 
God, work through some really, really difficult circumstances with the technology and the capital closures and really re wrestling with some really difficult issues this year. So I want to give a shout out to my former colleagues having served in both the House and the Senate. I'm just incredibly grateful for their hard work and the work they did this legislative session in 2021. So they did some good work for Oregon voters um, to make Oregon a fair and equitable place to, to cast a ballot and is a start. But I'm going to keep pushing for expanding automatic voter registration and campaign finance reform. We need to build and keep trust with Oregonians with our elections. So we will be back at it soon with the sessions to come. I'm Shamia Fagan, your Secretary of State, and Bubbitz is now resting comfortably on the floor, having enjoyed a little snack. And that's just your little update on election reforms past this legislative session.